Yeah, of course. Um, there's not many teams won here. Well, one team. And uh, you can see why they're, they're lively early on. We knew they'd be lively in the first 45 minutes, and they were. And uh, we rode our luck a little bit, but then we had the chances as well. At the other end, we hit the crossbar on the post, and I think they hit the post. So, um, but of course, uh, I'm bound to say, great character where you know, in adversity, he was disappointed. It was a penalty, of course, and George was, you know, beating himself up. But the lad showed that character to come back straight away. And at that point, I thought we'd outrun Bromley. I thought they'd lost their legs, they'd lost their spirit. And uh, we felt that in the next couple of minutes, we would get another chance. And uh, Ace has come up with uh, a great strike, and he does that often in training. And uh, two good substitutions, but a manager. <laughs> 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 and a terrific moment for Asa Hall, given everything he's been through. Who? That terrific moment for Asa Hall, given everything he's been through. Oh, yeah, oh, cool. Not much. Yeah, no, I'm really pleased with him. I'm pleased to, you know, give, give them a game every now and again, you know. Um, but the other boys have, you know, they've put in a stint. Some of them have played 17 games on the trot. Harry Pell, I thought, was just coming into the game, but he'd had a booking, and I just needed sort of fresh legs out there, so Bart should run his heart out over on the back side, so Vaughan came on for him, and uh, obviously Billy come on for Mulge, it wasn't, you know, he, was, he was nearly there, but nearly, you know, didn't quite get there, so I just thought I'd save him a little bit, and uh, Billy come on and done his job. Yeah, there's a bit of celebrations going on with the Cheltenham Town uh, players and some of their uh, families behind us. Uh, uh, Billy Waters, uh, three goals in four games and a substitute bench. Yeah, he's looking to live in, isn't he? I'm getting the goals, he's only having to play 10 minutes. Listen, like, I don't care whether he has 10 minutes or 90 minutes, if I can get him scoring a goal every time he comes on. And of course, when the game gets less hectic, he's a clever player, Billy, and he can get in the holes, and he had a couple of chances, didn't he? Um, and he's unlucky not to be in the starting 11, of course. But, uh, you know, <laughs> all decisions today were good decisions, whatever, you know, because we, it's a great, great result to come here and win 2 1. And, uh, and of course, with the way all the other, all the other results went, um, it's, uh, it was a great day to, to win. And, and in the second half, we were saying in commentary, we, we felt that Cheltenham were a more likely team to score. Did you feel that on the bench? Yeah, we definitely felt that. Um, I didn't feel we started well the first 15 minutes again. But uh, we certainly had a luck the next half hour. We, we took the game over, even though Bromley was still at their peak, if you like. You know, they hadn't lost their legs. Um, but second half we came out and we passed the ball about and I thought we looked different class. And if it had stayed at 1-0, it would have been devastating. And uh, George would have been devastating and devastated. So I'm pleased for him that the boys picked up and uh, we ended up getting the winner because uh, we'll look back on that and that might be a very, very important late winner. And uh, to be fair, your goalkeeper uh, kept you in the game early on and they made one terrific save in the second half. Uh, yeah, he did and he always does. And, and their keeper made an unbelievable save from uh, Bouncy's header. So we had some chances as well and uh, the highlights will be good. I thought that was a, people say, a good advert. I think they did well considering you can see why they're up the top there. They're very dangerous, they're very quick, they're very direct and uh, you've got to match it. And thank God we did for three quarters of the game. One of the best results of the season, given everything. Yeah, so it's, it's been the you know, best result in the last couple of days. That's what's got. <laughs> it's, it is uh, all our results that are, that are wins are good results, but this one we knew was a tricky one. This was a dangerous one, that's for sure. And I was, I'd seen the, the videos of them playing. I saw them beat Barrow last week five 0 um, My brother came to watch him as well, and he said, you know, he knew the danger men, and we was able to pass that on to the boys and. Uh, I thought in the end we coped with it very, very well and you know, don't tell me we wasn't worthy winners really in the end. And, and do you think there was any extra pressure uh, in that in those last sort of twenty minutes as you were searching for that goal, given the fact that you'd had those couple of draws? Well, no I, Well yes, now in hindsight I suppose you're looking at it and saying yes, but uh, we we, we <laughs> We went 1-0 up and it was only when it went 1-0 we started thinking about that. Oh no, this is our third draw. So, But the boys are congratulating themselves, themselves in the dressing room just for the fact that they, they came out and went for that straight away. And uh, I'm really pleased that we did.